I'm not sure if you know, but we actually buy and sell a wide range of used kit. And we get some really interesting and unique things in through our door. And recently we got in a bunch of original Alexas which are selling for just a fraction of a new Arri Alexa. These kits include the camera, lens mount, as well as a bunch of extra accessories which means you can get shooting as soon as you grab a power solution and a lens. Two things you will really need to consider if you decide to grab pretty much any older used cinema camera. But let's be honest, there are two main reasons why you'd want to pick up an Alexa. The image and the prestige of shooting and owning an ARRI camera. But is it worth it in 2022 when there are so many amazing cameras on the market now? Well, let's take a look. The original Alexa was released all the way back in 2010. And with all of the changes in technology over the past 12 years since it has been released, ARRI is still using an iteration of the same LF3 sensor and processing in their current generations of cameras. And some of the most renowned works of cinema have been shot on this exact sensor over the years. This original Alexa sensor still has the same fantastic image quality and incredible latitude that some modern sensors still can't rival. So let's break down some of the key aspects of it. First off, the latitude. This is one part of the Alexa sensor that makes it incredibly forgiving to shoot with. We've tested the Alexa a bunch against much more modern sensors and it always comes out on top when it comes to the highlight retention. You can shoot close to six stops overexposed and still get information back that would be clipped when using other more modern sensors. Its noise structure is also great and one of the more favoured ones, which means it does have good performance in the shadows as well. But it's not a low light camera like some of the other more modern cinema cameras like RED's V Raptor and Sony's Venice 2. The Alexa sensor is rated at ISO 800 and has its dynamic range mapped 7 up and 7 down for a rated 14 stops. ARRI skin tone and colour are arguably some of the best of any digital camera. ARRI has spent years perfecting the LF3 sensor and the different components that sit around it, like the OLPF and image processing to produce the image that their cameras are so well known for. The Alexa's image is often described as more filmic than other digital images, and that's because of the combination of low noise, which looks nice, their colour science, highlight roll off and natural colours. Because Alexa has been the digital format over the past decade, the Alexa look has arguably become part of the visual language of modern cinema, just like previously adopted formats were before digital. The image the sensor produces is still as great as it was back in 2010. However, I am really excited to see what ARRI has managed to accomplish with their long-awaited Super 35 4K camera which should be out soon hopefully. This original version of the Alexa can only record downscale 1080p, ProRes 422 or 4444 internally, or ARRI RAW externally with a compatible recorder. Later versions can record other formats internally and some have a 4x3 sensor which is fantastic for shooting 2x anamorphic. Full HD may sound dated and honestly, it will be for some of today's productions, but there are still plenty of deliveries where 1080p is perfectly acceptable. You will notice less detail when compared to a high resolution sensor, but resolution and detail are only one part of what makes up your overall image, and the other benefits of the ARRI image we have mentioned may outweigh your need for higher resolutions. But that isn't to say that the 1080p footage out of this camera isn't detailed, because it is. And for people shooting more narrative based work, 1080p will be absolutely fine. Editing these files is a breath of fresh air because of the lower resolution paired with ProRes, which has become an industry standard format over the years. You can drag this footage into pretty much any NLE or color processing software of your choice, without the need to worry about compatibility or plugins, as the industry has pretty much used what ARRI introduced with the Alexa as a standard over the past decade. Power is one of the first things to consider when using or buying a full-size Alexa, as these cameras will rinse through batteries quickly, especially if you aren't used to using other cinema cameras. The power draw is roughly 90 watts, which is just for the body and EVF, no other accessories. And that means a single 98 watt hour battery will last roughly an hour, but I've had them die way sooner than that. It will depend on a few things, like the age of your battery and the maximum amp draw. So my advice would be to get larger batteries if you don't fly regularly. But when you compare this to the size of the batteries and power drawers that are possible with the more modern cinema cameras at its price point, such as the RED Komodo, which draws a maximum of 37 watts in its basic configuration, this does make this camera harder to use and the overall package much heavier and larger than other modern systems. PL, or Positive Lock, is the industry standard lens mount used across multiple camera systems developed by ARRI. 
It's been designed with cinema workflows in mind first and is much more robust than Steel's camera mounts due to the weight and size cinema lenses can be. Thankfully, over the last few years, affordable PL lenses have become more and more available, and there are now some awesome new and used options on the market. Especially when you consider that the Alexa features a Super 35 23.8 by 13.4 mm size sensor with a diagonal of 27.31 mm and a resolution of 2880 by 2160. And this means that there are plenty of lenses for Super 35 and full frame to choose from. However, if you really want to go affordable, you can also get an EF mount for the Alexa. Right, so let's talk about the size of the Alexa Classic because it is massive compared to more modern cinema cameras and weighs roughly 6.3 kilograms or almost 14 pounds. So put on a nice lens and a matte box and you've got a heavy setup very quickly, which could be a good or a bad thing. One thing to consider is because of the camera's size and weight, your support equipment will need to handle it. This means additional costs can build up really quickly when building a more comprehensive camera package. The Alexa is built like an absolute tank though. Ari's equipment is built to be on set and more than likely a rental, which means they are built to survive in extreme conditions and be reliable. This was something the original Alexa was renowned for, especially in the early days of digital cinema cameras. This camera we have with us here has roughly 6,000 hours on it, and it still operates perfectly, with only some paint missing here or there. Ari actually showcased an Alexa that survived a camera truck fire and still booted up even while being absolutely burnt to a crisp. Another big benefit is that the Alexa is still the industry standard camera, and this means that operating it and truly learning this system will be a valuable skill for when you progress onto larger sets which will more than likely have ARRI cameras on or other cinema cameras which are going to operate very similarly. The main operator side of the camera is a joy to use. It's incredibly well laid out and easy to use. And that's because when ARRI designed it, they wanted it to be as simple to use like the film cameras that were being used at the time. There's also a huge ecosystem of accessories that sits around the Alexa, which are now really common and relatively affordable compared to when they came out. Buying used equipment can be a great way to get much more bang for your buck. And the Alexa is a great example of a camera that has aged gracefully and now sits at a price point where filmmakers can experience and enjoy the legendary image that the amazing LF3 sensor can provide at a reasonable price. It's not going to provide the same level of resolution as something like the LF or other more modern higher resolution sensors, but the image quality will be most in its price bracket. The image a camera can produce is only one piece of the puzzle though. There are so many compromises you will have to make if you decide to grab an Alexa Classic in 2022. The size and weight limit how fast and easily you can move it around, as well as the support equipment you can put it onto, and this means larger and more expensive equipment such as tripods to handle the bigger size and weight. It's not anywhere near as practical to shoot with as its modern counterparts, which are now smaller and lighter, which for most people operating in smaller crews at this price point are much more convenient to shoot with. But for certain productions like controlled narrative, the Alexa can still be an absolute joy to shoot with. And there are still plenty of productions that are using Alexas in this form factor. Hell, even the full size Alexa LS form factor is essentially the same to this. One of the big downsides of buying a used Alexa is some things on it that can go wrong after a good few thousand hours are very expensive to replace. So when you're buying from us, you can be confident that we've looked at that and made sure that these types of issues shouldn't arise. So yeah, there are quite a few compromises to make if you do decide to pick up a used Alexa, but there are always compromises whether you buy any camera, new or used. You just need to understand the pros and cons of each, which of course we can help you with. So if you want some more detailed camera advice, leave a comment or get in contact with us via the details in the description below. When it comes to buying used camera equipment, it can be a bit of a minefield, but that is made easier when buying used equipment from us due to our 90 day warranty on pretty much everything in our used stock. Our used marketplace consists of pre-loved, ex-demo and showroom equipment that is professionally evaluated and serviced by our in-house pro repairs engineers. If you want to see what we currently have in stock, head over to cvp.com used. We also buy used kit, so if you want to upgrade or just clear out your old kit fast and easily, get in contact with us via the email below. Let us know what you think of the Alexa Classic and if you've purchased any used kit before and your experience in the comments below. And if you like the video, please give it a like and maybe even consider subscribing so you don't miss out on our awesome upcoming content. And thank you so much for watching.